checking out the uh, Topo Designs Mountain Cross Bag. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago from the flagship store in Denver, Colorado. It caught my eye. I pulled it off the shelf and I said, you know what? This bag is coming on with me. And I've been using it here and there since then. It's a really cool bag made from recycled materials, has three ways of carry, but we'll get into all that once we're in the video. All right, this, this is a new bag from Topo Designs. And when I was talking to the people at the, at the store, uh, at the Topo Designs store in Denver, I asked them about it and, and they didn't know a whole lot about it because it had, it had really just come out. So it, I know it comes in a couple other colors. This is the all black version, which is, you know, most of the time that's what I like to buy. It's got a pretty nice set of pockets, but I kind of want to talk about the structure of this bag from the perspective of the layers. In the very back, there's the laptop area. That's pretty common. In the middle is a large pocket for your bigger items. Another pocket up here in the front is just a thinner pocket for more items. And then all the way here in the front is another zippered pocket for smaller items, kind of a quick access. And then interestingly enough here on the, on the very front is an interesting, uh, open pocket that has these little attachments that allow you to like kind of lock lock it in place and then open it. So you just take this and you you push it. You take this little hook and you push it through the strap. And I'm trying to do this looking at the camera. And then and then that opens up more. You do the same thing with this one. Just kind of turn it a little sideways and push it down. And now you have this big open pocket here. Now, I'm not really sure what the, the thinking on this pocket, like what it's supposed to be for, maybe a jacket or a, or a, you know, a lunch or something, but it does have this kind of gusset down here at the bottom that allows it to kind of expand a little bit, but not a lot. I mean, it, it, it's, we're not like gaining a whole lot of space. We're gaining a little bit. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's way too small for like, say a bicycle helmet or, uh, or something like that. It's just not big enough. It wouldn't fit a pair of shoes. My, I had a shirt, I changed shirts earlier today and I had this in the shirt, just a regular old button up shirt was almost too big for this pocket. So think of it as like, you know, snacks maybe, or, or just a little extra pocket for when you're overstuffed. Um, and then you, you know, you can run these things back up through and it secures the items that are in this pocket from falling out. So it's, it's a pretty cool pocket, but I don't think it has a lot of additional volume or uh, I don't know the use case is significant. It's minor. I think it's a minor use case, but it is pretty cool. One thing I think would make this a little bit better is if this was a much stretchier pocket and these, these little, uh, hook points could be extended so that you could fit a bicycle helmet in here or a rock climbing helmet or a, uh, or a pair of shoes or a big jacket or something like that. So then you have this bulge that has these extended hooks that then you can hook back into here and keep your stuff from falling out. So that's a design feature I, I would like to see added to later on versions of this bag because I think it's a pretty smart way of doing it. Now you'll notice underneath we do have um, utility straps. These are it's pretty standard the way they do it, but they are they do have a uh, a buckle for quick release. So you got your a tri small tripod or an umbrella or a yoga mat or or a jacket or something like that. That that works pretty well, and they do tighten up. So you know not a lot of messenger bags have these, and so it's kind of nice when one does but then there are a lot of people who just want to cut them off, which I see both sides of that story. Let's talk a little bit about the materials of this bag. So it has kind of a, a, a thin feeling to it. It's not made from Cordura like some of their other bags are. Very durable, high strength um, Cordura, but it is made from recycled materials and it has a, a plasticky kind of vibe to it, which I like that feel. I don't mind it at all. The bottom, 
uh, you know, bottom needs a little more durability. It is made from, it looks like made from a Cordura fabric of some sort. Um, it's pretty, pretty much uh, feels like other Topo Designs bags do, so I'm pretty sure it's a very similar fabric. So it gives the bottom some, some strength. The materials that it's made from, it's 200D, 100% recycled, lightweight, nylon, ripstop, upper, that's this plasticky part, and then 1000D, 100% recycled nylon in the lower panels. So yeah, made from recycled materials, that's the key takeaway. Lightweight materials up top and durable, more durable material down here at the bottom. Now let's take a quick second and talk specs a little bit. The the size of this bag is it's 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 a 17 liter bag. 17 liters. That's a that's a decent amount of storage for a day's carry. The the actual dimensions and I've got them written down here 15 inches wide, 11 and a half inches tall, and four inches of depth. So that's why the laptop situation is what it is. It it may not fit because the bag is really only 15 inches wide. So you know, your mileage may vary, but I'm, I'm thinking smaller laptops only. One thing we're always trying to look at here is zipper quality and making sure that our zippers don't mess up while we're traveling. Uh, these are YKK zippers, and so you know they're the best in the business. And they, the zipper pulls are, uh, you know, nothing to write home about, but they're, they're comfortable to pull on and they're long enough that, you know, you're going to be able to, to use them easily. Um, but of course, you can change out zipper pulls if you're interested. On the back... The material, this is a padded, a padded back. So what's kind of up against your body has this foam, foam material and it's, it's, it's good. It's fine. It's like, it protects the laptop and it protects your, your, this, you know, if you're wearing it like a messenger, it protects your hip. And, um, and if you're wearing it like the, the waist pack option, then, um, then that's, you know, that's up against, probably against your back, like a lumbar style pack. And I didn't. I haven't tried that yet. I, mean, I hate to be making a video about it and not try that one one feature. But they, it comes with a. It comes with two straps. It comes with the shoulder strap, and we'll talk more about this strap in a second. And it comes with the, this lumbar or this waist strap, and uh, it has more than one place to put the waist strap. You can put it at at this level up here. You can put it at this level down here. So you can put it at either one of these. Get a closer look at that, and so um, it's just these these kind of hooks. You're used to you squeeze it, and I don't know the name of these hooks. Um, I should learn the name of it, but you just put that on there and close it. And so now we have this uh, waist waist strap on here that has a buckle, and so you can quickly put it on and wear it around your backside. Now, for me, I don't have any use case where I'm going to carry it like that. And maybe you do. And, and you know, um, I don't know which one of these would be a better place to put it. But the strap is kind of weird in that one side of the strap has a pad on it, similar to the shoulder pad. And one side doesn't. So I don't really know how that works when you carry it, why one side would be padded and one side isn't. Maybe, and I'm still, you know, I'm still learning about this bag, still trying to figure it out. Maybe you put one in the, maybe you put one in the top and one in the bottom and, and it becomes more like a, maybe you're not wearing it around like your lumbar, maybe you're wearing it like a sling. Yeah, that actually makes more sense. Am I messing up the microphone? You can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, now, like, that actually makes sense. Now I got the pad on my shoulder, and I'm wearing it like a sling. Sorry about messing with the mic. But it's not, I can tell you right now, this isn't very comfortable. It feels pretty, pretty off balance, and it feels kind of weird to have it on like this. Um, and I feel like I've got the straps extended pretty much all the way and I might need it. I got a big chest. It might need to be a little bigger. So, well, we're always learning here on this channel, 
but I appreciate the fact that they included a second strap so that you can carry it the way you want to carry it. I don't carry it like that. I don't carry it with the, the sling or the lumbar or the waist or whatever that strap is really supposed to be designed for, but I carry it, I do carry it with the shoulder strap. And the shoulder strap is pretty basic. It's, it hooks on to the sides here, uh, one on each point using the, the same style of hook using this, um, you know, using this, this style of hook right here. And, um, and it has plenty of length. The pad itself is, is pretty decent pad. It's, it's comfortable. It feels like it's two layers of foam kind of squeezed in here in this kind of a neoprene kind of feeling here. It feels like a, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it feels a little bit like a neoprene wood. Uh, it's kind of soft uh, and this foam is nice, but it, it doesn't slide. Um, it's kind of right in the center of the strap. And so it doesn't, it, you know, it's not a pad that moves around. It's just right there in the middle. Other than that, it's just a pretty basic strap. But the fact that they include two straps at the price point of this bag is, it's, that's good. Okay, one, one more issue with this shoulder strap while I'm thinking about it. In my testing so far, what I've found is that uh, the shoulder strap tends to get twisted, you know, in between uses. So like when I throw it in the car, the shoulder strap gets real twisted. And then it, it's like, it, you got to kind of unwind it and get it like all situated. And then you can sling it over your shoulder without, without you know, having all the fabric turn the wrong way. So it takes just a little second. Because of these styles of hooking on there, it doesn't spin free. It might be interesting if, if there's a way for the fabric to spin free and have it, you know, so it doesn't get twisted. And if it does get twisted, it just, you know, spins free like that. So anyway, whatever, nitpicking about the strap. I'm not complaining. I just think those are ideas. Now we're looking at the bag without the straps on, makes it a little bit easier, but you can see it's a mess. It's a briefcase style carry. There are two handles. Um, they are pretty comfy. This bag is not very big, so you don't, you don't need a whole lot of like extra comfort here. Um, but I do like carrying this, uh, this size of a bag. It lends well to carrying with the briefcase style. Um, there's nowhere to really stuff the strap if you're not using it, which maybe that front pocket, maybe you can kind of just stick it in there like that if you're not using it, uh, if you're carrying it more like this. So keep that in mind. Maybe that front pocket is, is good for the stowing the strap when you're not using it. But let's take a look at more outside features before we open up and look at the pockets. All over this bag are these uh, hook points. They've got these lash points um, that you can just attach carabiners to. They got a strip of them right up here. They got a strip of them down here on this pocket. They've got some uh, points of attachment here on the front on this and this. Um, so those things kind of give it a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a rugged look, but it, it does feel like it's a, uh, um, you know, the mountain cross style where it's like it works in the outdoors, but also works in an urban environment. I think that's kind of exactly what they're going for here, the mountain cross. I do like the black on black logo here. So the logo, it, it blends in perfectly and it's great. Nobody's gonna complain about a big obnoxious logo if it blends like this. Nobody's even gonna see that logo unless they're looking and then they can see it. That was a stupid statement, huh? On each side of the bag are water bottle, elastic water bottle mesh pockets. Here, I've got a standard water bottle in here so you can kind of see the size and proportions, this fits perfectly. But I also wanted to show you testing with a larger water bottle. Uh, this is a 32 ounce water bottle, it's metal. It's from a company called Purist. What's interesting about this water bottle, if you'll grant me a second to talk about it, is that it uh, has a glass coating on the interior. So the glass coating prevents uh, the taste of metal. You know, sometimes you drink out of a metal bottle, it can taste a little bit metallic. Well, that glass lining on the inside prevents that. It also helps keep it more sanitized, uh, from my understanding. But anyway, I wanted to show you how a larger bottle, this is kind of a fatty bottle, uh, fits into this pocket. And it, it, it basically does, because this is a very super stretchy mesh, 
but like we're kind of maximizing the elastic band and we're really going to stretch this pocket out. You, you do this, if you carry a large water bottle like this, you're going to wear out this mesh, you're going to wear out this elastic. It's not mesh, it's elastic. Um, so I wouldn't carry a water bottle this big in this pocket unless it was like a one-time thing. All right, let's get into the pockets. Like we talked about before, in this back pocket, there is a laptop, and this is my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Fits in here perfectly, like it was made for it. Now that's important because I tested a larger, I tested my 16 inches monitor, my external monitor, my USB-C powered monitor, uh, and it does not fit in here. It doesn't fit. And the guys at the store could not answer me for sure if a 15 inch MacBook Pro will fit in this bag. And I don't have one to test with. So I don't know 100% that a, that, a, that a 15 inch laptop is gonna fit. There's a little bit of extra room in here um, but not much. And so I have to advise that I think this bag is more for those who carry a smaller laptop, a 13 inch laptop, uh, maybe the 14 inch MacBook Pros now that, now that that's what they are. But, um, I think you're going to find that it's probably not the bag for you if you've got the larger laptops. The padding in this laptop pocket is pretty good. It's got this foam back in here and it's got a foam uh, section on the front so your laptop is in between two pieces of foam your 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 laptop is not suspended off the bottom though i wish it were but if you drop this bag boom the laptop could easily be the thing that hits the ground so just keep that in mind that uh you don't want to drop your bag there are no additional pockets in this section so let's open up the main pocket. This is the main event here, folks. And gather around, gather around. Let's take, take out the main pocket. Um, what I want to show you is that the this is the Evergoods uh, Cap 2 tech pouch organizer thing. This is a pretty big pouch. It's pretty big. And it does fit in here upright. So I wanted to show you that, that it does. Um, just so you know. It also obviously fits in here, you know, laying down. But I, I, I felt like I wanted to have, these are my Bose wireless headphones. I wanted these to be in here as well. And you can kind of see that um, when they're stacked on top of each other, they don't, it doesn't really fit. It, it, it's too high. So this bag is kind of a small bag. So that's why, that's why I had, I was carrying things in here sideways but it fits in here just, just fine like that. So that's, you know, that's kind of what I have in here. But one of the things about this pocket that you might not be able to see super clearly is that on the back panel of that main pocket, there are some mesh pockets. It's just about the right size for this moleskin notebook. And I also have in this today, what I'm carrying around is a uh, spare mouse. So, you know, a little bit of two mesh organizer pockets in this main section. And otherwise, that's it for that section. Now we're going to the, the third pocket from the back. This is basically another, another more narrow pocket that you can just store stuff in. Right now, like I, I have my keyboard. So when I'm, you know, working remote, uh, just a wireless keyboard in there. I also have some beef jerky thrown in there. Um, there is a zippered pocket inside of this pocket. So if you want to have your air tag, maybe it's in there. You have a, a spot to hang your keys from, or your, you know, just a key clip or something. So you can secure some items inside of another zippered pocket inside of there. So there's some, some organization inside of this bag that they've shown. Now we've got one more pocket here on the front. And this is just a, kind of what I throw quick access junk into. And so it's kind of messy right now just because I've thrown a bunch of crap in here. But um, essentially we've got business cards, we've got what you know, phone chargers and wireless headphones, pens and chapstick. And you know, just you know, I throw sunglasses in here. But that's like just a quick access pocket there on the front. 
So really, to summarize the pockets, you got four main pockets. You got the, the laptop, you got the big main one, you got the thinner one up front, you got the smaller one up front that's quick access, and then you got this weird little front pocket that doesn't seal up, but it does have these hooks that keep it from, you know, having your stuff spill out too far. So that's pretty much my, my look at the Topo Designs Mountain Cross bag. It's pretty new to the market, and I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in it. It's very lightweight. This recycled materials thing is pretty great. Um, it crunches down pretty easily. And so if you're looking for a, uh, a lightweight, smaller, messenger style, briefcase style combo bag, or even a sling, you can kind of carry it as a sling, then, uh, you know, with these lash points down below, I think this is a real winner. I think this is a, a real winner from Topo Designs. Now I also reviewed on this channel, and if you look up right up here, I've got the Topo Designs Mountain, sorry, Topo Designs Commuter Briefcase review. And I got rid of that bag. And I think this could be a good replacement for that bag. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and uh, watch another video because that's the best thing that you can do uh, when you're supporting YouTubers is just watch another video of theirs. So whatever pops up, go ahead and watch that.